AQA, A-level physics, astrophysics, first video, refracting telescopes. Okay, so you need to be able to draw a ray diagram for a refracting telescope. Uh, you need to be able to show you know what angular magnification means and be able to work it out. Uh, and uh, there you go, know about focal length and use that equation there. Pretty straightforward, and here we go. So, um, a refracting telescope has got lenses. You're talking refraction. Uh, two converging lenses. And the, the lenses, you've got the objective lens, which is a, a bigger lens. It's got a big diameter, so lots of light comes in. Uh, it's got a, quite a big focal length. Uh, and then you've got the eyepiece lens, which has a smaller diameter and a smaller focal length. And basically what happens is the objective lens uh, forms a real image of a distant object. Because we're looking at like stars and planets and the moon and stuff, that's, that's a distant object. It's far away um, and you form a real uh, inverted image of this distant object. And then the eyepiece lens forms a virtual image of this real image. So it magnifies the image. Um, at GCSE, you did these diagrams and it's basically two diagrams put together. Image of a distant object and the image, a virtual image of that image, okay? Uh, I'm going to take you through drawing the diagram um, and bear in mind that you need to do, because it asks for it on A-level questions, three non-axial rays going through each lens. So going through each lens, you want three rays of light. Uh, non-axial means that they can't go through the principal axis. And I'll show you what that means in a bit. So I'm going to do it using my mouse, my because I don't like graphics tablets, um, or maybe it's just because I've got a rubbish one. Uh, and then you'll see that it's pretty much this diagram. So, OK, let's do this ray diagram. We're going to start with our principal axis, which is just a line which goes through the middle of everything, a horizontal line. That's our principal axis. Our objective lens, we don't need to draw anything that looks like a lens. We can just do a vertical line like that. And that is our objective lens. Now, I'm going to cheat and I'm going to start with the image. So there's my image and it's a real inverted image. OK, and then the rays of light that form this image uh, I'm going to do those backwards as well. Now, the, there's two important rays of light, and then the last one doesn't really matter, but we have to draw three, so we'll do three. Now, the first ray of light that you draw, again, as I said, I'm going to do it backwards. Uh, use a ruler, and this ray of light goes through the center of the lens. And the ray of light that goes through the center of the lens just keeps going in a straight line. So this ray of light goes through the, in a straight line through the center of the lens and ends up there at the tip. Uh, my second ray of light, again, I'm going to draw it backwards, uh, has come parallel to the principal axis. And it is parallel to this ray. There's the arrows. Make sure you put arrows on your rays of light to show which direction they're coming from. So here's two rays of light now which are parallel. They are parallel. They have to be because they're from a distant object. Now the third ray doesn't really matter. You can do it above. You can do it below. As long as it's parallel to those two, so these three rays have come from a distant object. They're all parallel. 
and as long as it goes through the tip of the image there okay and this distance here is the focal length of the objective okay so start with this ray this top ray here which goes just as a straight line this ray here then do the ray that's parallel to the principal axis then the third ray you can put it down there you could actually come down there as well it doesn't really matter as long as it's parallel with the other ones and it goes through the tip of the image okay let's do the eyepiece so the eyepiece is over here and it has a smaller focal length okay three rays of light first ray of light goes through the middle of the lens and it just keeps going in a straight line there you go next ray of light parallel to the principal axis and it emerges parallel to this ray okay because our object is at the focal length here is the focal length of the eyepiece is there because our object is at the focal length the rays will emerge parallel and let's put arrows on them to show the direction they're going in these rays by the way have nothing to do with the red rays okay uh, the third ray you can do it above or below it doesn't matter as long as it comes from the tip and it emerges parallel okay so there's three rays of light going through the eyepiece and the observer the person looking through the telescope will look there and the rays of light goes in his head or her head and they go oh look at that that looks beautiful uh, one last thing to add to this diagram and that is this angle here is alpha and this angle here which should be bigger is beta so those two angles okay alpha and beta okay so there's the drawing that i did or another one uh, and there's the diagram and compare them obviously you do yours with a sharp pencil and a ruler practice doing it and i would say everything on there must be on your diagram on the last diagram we had these angles uh, alpha and beta so um, what we can talk about is the angular magnification of the telescope if you imagine let's say there's there's the moon which is very very far away uh, then what comes out of the telescope is we see the moon um, an awful lot bigger okay so rays of light from the moon going into the telescope let's say from the top and the bottom of the moon there and this angle here in between do you remember it was alpha on the other diagram uh, the rays of light coming into our eye are there and there and this angle is much much bigger which is why the moon looks a lot bigger and our angular magnification is how many times bigger this angle is so our angular magnification is beta over alpha okay sometimes we talk about linear magnification but here on this syllabus we're talking angular magnification and that is capital M and that is how many times bigger that angle is
And obviously, the bigger the magnification, the bigger the moon looks when we look through the telescope. From similar triangles, uh, we can actually work out the magnification if we know our focal lengths. I mean, you've passed GCSE maths. Have a look at the other diagram, similar triangles. And the magnification is actually equal to the focal length of the objective divided by the focal length of the eyepiece. So if you want big magnification, then your objective should have a long focal length and your eyepiece should have a small focal length. For example, if your objective uh, had an, uh, a magnification of, let's say, uh, 30 centimetres, this is a pretty small telescope, this, and your eyepiece had a, uh, sorry, a focal length of two centimetres, then that would give you an angular magnification of 15. Okay, so <clears throat> here's a kind of a cheap telescope, it's about 100 quid, but if you're starting with astronomy, uh, if you're interested, that's the kind of thing you'd probably start with. Um, from telescopehouse.com. Uh, its objective lens is 700 millimeters, um, the big one at the front, uh, and it says you can have a magnification uh, from 50 to 150. And basically what you do is your, your eyepiece, you, you'll have a, a mirror or a prism there, which acts as a mirror, and then the eyepiece, you can change the eyepiece depending on the magnification that you want. If you want to look at like a, a constellation or you want to look at all of the moon, you don't need a, an amazing magnification. If you want to look at a planet, if you want to look at Jupiter, uh, with a telescope like this, you could probably see the moons going around Jupiter. Then you would need a big magnification. OK, so you can change the eyepiece to get different magnifications. So I have a question for you. If I wanted a magnification of 50, what should be the focal length of my eyepiece? And you should be able to work out that it would be 14.